Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play U4 as a Revolutionary Croatia, where we're totally not going to start any wars before the end of the game. We're just going to let things trickle through. Oh, except for this one, and probably the next five that are going to happen. But, you know, other than that... Corn's good. Do this. So, we declared war in Tuscany, mostly because um, the truce has expired, and we were trying to break up the coalition a little bit, just cycle the timers, and it would be very convenient to just eat up this, because, I mean, this, this is just stupid. We don't have, like... A contiguous connection over here. I mean, this isn't our land, but the Papal States uh, bend the knee to us, so it's all about the same. We're just having to wait for the uh, length of war uh, modifier for the peace deal to tick down, because, um, and I'm not worried about this, Denmark might take care of it for us, um, because uh, right now, even though we've basically got everything occupied, I don't know where, we're at 99%? They haven't occupied anything of ours, have they? Oh no, they did occupy a little bit over here. That's why it's at 99 instead of 100. But yeah, we'll be able to we'll be able to eat up everything. We're just gonna wait for the length of war modifiers to tick down. Everyone wants to peace out. No, maybe we'll try in January and see what uh, things look like. <laughs> Conversions go. Pirates are a thing. Could be doing more anti-piracy stuff, but psh, psh, psh. Mm -hmm. you know what I should do? Just get some more light chips. It's a uh, whoa. Some of these are damn. It. Are you? How come you're not going for repairs, man? Yeah, let's say slight damage. Did you actually grab some heavy ships and all this too? I mean, that's the thing that got mostly, uh, not mostly damaged. It's amazing. I suppose I could put these guys on patrol. Split off the transports, take the fleet that's called transports, even though that doesn't make any sense. Um, I guess I could put you on like enemy stomping in the Mediterranean, just in case something else pops out. And I think normally, I guess you do patrol around. If we're at peace, do they park themselves to save uh, uh, sailors? Oh, there we go. All right, coalition war, baby. Here we go, fun times. So who are we at war with right now? A few people. I mean, I'm not really concerned about what's going on over here. Although, oh no, we don't have troops over here anymore either. All right, all right, all right. Why well, don't I put you Oops Carpet Siege that. It should work out okay. You over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move you up and then we'll put you on carpet sieging duties afterwards. But I want you I want you in the action first. We'll go there so that you don't retreat backwards after you're done. Same sort of idea. I'm assuming we're at war with you. Yeah, I mean we're basically at war with everyone over here. Um, there, there. I think we'll need we will need some more help against the Ottomans. So you go down to there. You go down to here. I mean, I could just go and siege that, but I think what we're gonna do instead is we will move over this way. I'm gonna let you go over here. We're really, really gonna group up our areas. Is that like Mamluks? Do they have one province left? <laughs> Uh, we'll move over here. So we're gonna we're gonna have four of our proper armies all there. Last time around, we just had a little trickle. We got booped a little. We're like, oh, we'll come back to you. And this time, we're gonna make sure the Ottomans get a little bit babysatted, a lady, a little bit babysatted. You are going to carpet siege Castile, and you. I'm gonna move you over here, and then we'll give you a command afterwards. So okay, you're on rebel stomping duties. Luckily, France isn't done on this. I expect the coalition is fine, but do we still have a truce with France? Yep. For another 10 years. Excellent. So I'm, I'm happy that timing worked out okay. And so, okay, you are on rebel stomping over here, which actually... I should do a little bit of this. And where are you? Well, I'm going to move you to Tunis. And, yeah, it's only level 3 fort, so you should be okay. We've got our fleet um, already. So we got our war fleet told to go and hunt things down over here. we got our trade fleet as well, currently doing a little bit of repairs, which is fine. Do you have an admiral? You do have an admiral. Maybe I should give you an admiral, too. You know what? Let's just go for it. Done. It's not god-tier admiral, but we don't really have the naval tradition, so it kind of makes sense. Okay, let's bring down the speed 3, because now things are shaken up. All right, get some revolutionary zeal. We're at war. I mean, we're in two wars now, so the zeal should be even more extreme. Hopefully you don't get booped before anything happens. Looks like you're probably safe. Urbanize, industrial urbanization, gain based production and task in Istria. 
Influence of workers. Oh, it's moving people. And we get a little unrest, but that's going to have to be okay. All right, a little bit of a naval battle. Cool. Groovy. Everyone's still busy. Excellent. A little bit of repairs going on. And transports over here. I mean, so really, like, it's the war fleet, but I don't know. Just ignore it. Who cares about the name? And then our transports are sitting around there. Uh, these guys want to peace out. Well, before we do that... Okay. Is there any chance you guys... Okay, Saluzzo's at low. There you go. You're actually going to accept annexation. How come shift clicking and control clicking is not, not actually weird? Okay, there's not much money to be gotten anyway, so we'll do this. Full annexation. Let's just do that. Done. Done. Core you. Oh, and then wait for our diplomat. You're still not willing. I assume you're still not willing either. Unless I just clicked on the same one twice. No, it's because it's a different number, but they're not willing either. Okay, no, that's okay. We'll just wait a little bit longer. That's going to be fine. Armies are doing army things. Okay, that's a large stack over there. What I'm going to do, rather than splitting you off this way, I'm going to move you over here. Get you a little close together. We'll finish that, because why not? And we'll probably pull this one in after it finishes sieging that. Luckily, these are uh, very basic little forts, so the sieging is going to be pretty easy. This is probably not going to be your last coalition war either. Revolutionary France has rivaled me. All right. Good for them. Okay, you aren't doing anything. Oh, except sitting around, which is fine. So I'm going to enable some carpet sieging like so. Because right now it's looking okay, and we still got some more people coming towards you. All right. I'm getting some occupations over here, over here. That's fine. And yeah, you still are active. Everyone's still active. That's good. Okay, that 100k stack is actually splitting up a little bit. Which is good. They're not just hunting down my own here. Although they probably collapse in if there's a battle pretty quickly. Siege of Cremona is done. So what I'd like to do is catch some of these guys. But that might not be in the cards. It's okay. Uh, wait, can I not go over here? Oh, because of that fort. All right. Well then, just, yeah, just come over here for now. Try to do some grouping up. Oh, did you get stopped? I think this is the one I was trying to send over to Portugal. Oh no, you're on carpet siege. Hold on. You're not a carpet... Oh! So you have set the carpet siege over here, and you did... May did I just move you here? Maybe you did get stopped. But that's okay, actually. You can siege out Toledo. That's going to be kind of a good thing. So they're doing a little bit of stuff over here, but that's okay. You don't have a mission right now. I'm kind of going to wait until this finishes and then these guys show up as well. So actually, go ahead and move all the way here. And why don't I get you to Force March, actually? Do that. Lose some manpower, lose prestige. We'll get average penalties. You know what? We're gonna, we'll do this. I mean, we're not hurting for manpower, really, but we're probably going to want it. Um, okay. 15th, 20th, it's hard to tell the time. When are we going to age here? Okay, so I think some of these locked guys are going to have left this province before we engage. Okay. So we're going to jump in on that. Okay, battle over there is fine. Not something we care about. You don't have anything going on. I think I'm just going to put on some carpet sieging. There you go. Do a little something like this. So, I mean, they have a lot of troops around, but we've got a pretty good general here, another good general here. Although we only need one really good one. Decent number of troops. Do I want to send in more? I mean, I don't actually I don't have anyone else I can send in, really. Unless these guys just boot it, which... You know what? Oh! Would you have to use ships to get there? Never mind then. All right. Well, return to plan. Carpet siege all this, please. Oh, I missed a spot there, but that's okay. This army here. Oh, yeah. Move, manually moved you over here. I'm now going to tell you to carpet siege this. Now, you might get caught out by, well, there's some large stacks over there, but just do what you can for now. 
Fuck me. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're not going to care about what happens in Scotland. Now, what's the uh, war goal for this? I don't remember if it's superiority or they have to hold my capital. Show superiority. Okay, so it is in terms of battles won. Uh, they have reinforced, but we're going to reinforce over here. So our numbers will be pretty similar, especially as they bring in reinforcements. Our base stats are still better, which is great to see. Good. And then some of their guys are still locked into coming in here. Not the force march. I'm going to plan to, like, move out of here. But I think we're still going to get engaged by some stuff, and that's going to be okay. But then we'll splurt out. Yeah, there you go. Another battle, another battle. Not much war score, but it's still, like, screwing up their troops, which is awesome. I'm definitely happy I booked it with the third army, because otherwise that would have been pretty poor. Come in here. Should be fine. Some of the mobility is going to be impeded a little bit by this fort, but I think overall we're okay. Alright, everyone's active, which is good. Uh, both these fleets are in for repairs. Protecting trade node. And then hunting troops as well. Might have gotten some trips. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe those were ours that got damaged. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah. They're occupying a little bit of stuff over here, but that's okay. You're doing this over here, which is all good. This army over here is not currently active. So we're going to go ahead and give you some carpet siege instructions. Not that there's much for you to do here because they're not forts, but mostly we're trying to keep everyone together for a little bit. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Let's come back over here. Interestingly enough, they don't feel completely broken yet. Nope. They're very close, though. Okay. I might just be able to get all the land by piecing out with Tuscany, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, decent troops over there. Hopefully you don't get in trouble. Uh, you... A wee bit of this. Okay, we're just going to add one province at a time so that our guys don't actually split up too much. We'll sort of do a creeping carpet of carpet sieging. If that makes sense. And no, I know it doesn't make any sense, but that's okay. Do this. Um, okay. And it's hard to blind click these provinces. There you go. Do some of that. One siege over here. Any of these guys are semi on auto. Uh, if I do that, do it. let me force march to lower the chance they can dodge out of this. Where are you moving to? So we might be able to catch you there. Good. Big ol' stomp. Okay, these are pretty small stacks, so we'll just put you on a little carpet sieging. Actually... Kind of like this. Okay. Everyone's busy? Yes? No. Oh shit, I did actually want you to be force marching. I was like, oh, it's confusing because they get the force march symbol, which shows up in here as if they're doing something, but um, even if they're not doing anything. Okay. We'll just let you siege that out naturally. That's going to be okay. We're going to ignore these. We are being blockaded over here, but I'm not going to care about that. Someone wants access rights. Timbuktu does. Are you in a war with someone? You know what? Sure, whatever. Yeah, this army here might get caught, but we'll just have to deal with that. Um, enemy invasion imminent. Yeah, I mean, if they want to keep invading in uh, Western Africa, that's okay, because that's not really where the important fighting is happening. You know, they can take some of my colonial territories while I, you know, ruin their homeland. I'm okay with that. Oops. Oh, maybe they did take. Alright, do a little clicky here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, everyone's active. Good. You keep fighting in that one, uh, that one province a fair bit. Oh, you over here. Do need some extra commands. Done, done, done. Who dis? 
you need to be told to siege this area out, please. This war is clearly going to go very well. What is this? Oh, I have an unassigned merchant. Yeah, is this going to keep doing... Mom, we are actually at 14. I don't really care right now. I guess, actually, if we can reach over here, it makes sense to keep transferring trade power forward. There might be a slightly better spot, but that's at least going to theoretically do something. And otherwise, I don't really care. Especially since some of this might fluctuate if one of our regions is sort of on the cusp of things. Can both carpet siege in the same spot or something? Let me move you out of here. Oh, can you not reach? Okay, this movement's annoying, but I don't want you to get in that, that, that terribly attrition. Okay, I'll move you down there. We might even be able to boop a little army over there. I don't know. Yeah, a little something on the way. Oh, not that you have a leader. Hey, captured ships too. Spread zeal. Probably at our zeal cap. I don't know what determines the... Oh, spread of revolution is one of the limitings. I wonder if there's a modifier we can get that gives an additional cap as well, just to make it a little easier to be at 100%. Yeah, you're basically just trying to stay ahead of this. You might... I don't know. Maybe I should just get you to bail out of here. Since there's so many enemy troops. Actually, I kind of like that idea. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's get out of this area. Since it is so show superiority. Although I assume we have ticking war score now. Yeah, we do have the ticking war score. That's good. Oh my god, the UI lag. Meh. Yeah, just do this. Eventually you'll probably run into that. Okay, looks like our troops are in pretty good shape. You're desieging some stuff over here, which... Honestly, might not be the more important thing. I'm going to move you here and start actually sieging out Portugal first. And getting the forts. Oh, we lost a siege there. We lost a... Oh, yeah, our little stack over here. Okay. Well, that is slightly annoying because that is one of the people we were looking to piece out here. But we'll get it back. Done. Everyone's busy. Good. Do we need to go and try to smash another one of these groups? Sort of. You know what? You've just started the siege here. Can you do this? Perfect. Uh, these guys turn around. I think we're okay. They are turning around. What if they do a big giant reinforce? Let's not risk it. I'm going to force march this guy into here. And then could just turn around. Turns out we were fine. Alright. But caution might not be the worst thing in the universe. Very unlike me. But it might be a good idea to actually try to do. Look at this pathing. No one's sieging out Ankara. Here, just walk to here. Actually, can you... No, you can't. But you can walk to there. Do that. Thanks. Let's get some forts going on. Alright, everyone's busy. I'm on the Siege of Evora. Oh, and this one here. Oh, yes. So that's in Portugal. So what we'll do is we'll occupy Portugal proper. Break their will. Prevent them from building more dudes. One K stack's about to get booped. Poor little thing. We have a lot of troops over here. It'd be nice to maybe group up and restomp their primary army. Although movement is still a little bit rough right now. Okay, we've done that. I can move you, and I really can't. Are we not at war with all these? We are. Actually, I'm kind of surprised I can't reach here. Maybe this fort, it might be the blocker. That kind of makes sense. Could spend some military power blowing things up, but I'd rather probably get offensive ideas going. Right, let's retag all that. 
Mm-hmm. Ba 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 ba. Everyone's good. Everyone's good. This war is being surprisingly easy to manage, which terrifies me because I'm assuming something's gonna go terribly wrong. So the only thing we can do is uh, naval engagement with, which is really good, especially when we have the most ships. It's actually stupendously good. So it's nice to have, perhaps. I'd like to more build more ships, but I'm worried about our reinforcements getting caught along the way. It's so much money. And our manpower is stable as well. We could easily support more troops, but we'll see. We got insulted. All right. Well, that's a route. We're losing a little bit of war score against the Tuscan War, but I'm not concerned. It's just because we're not focusing on uh, sieging their stuff out right now. Oops. I, mean, I kind of maybe want to move back over here. Oh, that's some other interesting routing. Oh, yeah, because all these forts here. Unless, maybe, you know what? Go there. Oh! Oh, you can't re-siege Memjin. Never mind. And I'm, I'm sure that's not how it's pronounced, but deal with it. I might roll another general. Probably we're going to have one die from old age soon anyway. If we get some siege pips on this guy. We did not. Oh, well. Although, oh, that's an actual fort. Screw it. Let's just roll another one. Although, <sighs> military ideas. Shit, we're not getting siege at all. Well, that's frustrating. I guess the first one didn't actually put us over the limit. This one did. There, you don't have a leader at all. We'll just go ahead and give you the extra, because we can. Um, that is some pathing. Let's get you to do this instead, please. And this one here is out of stuff to auto-do. I'm just going to go and add this. Done, done. Revolutionary zeal. Peace out from Tuscany. New. No. Especially if we don't occupy the fort, we're not going to be able to take everything. But it would be really nice to have the coring progress going on the stuff from the Tuscan War and finish before we want to peace out the primary war. But for that, I have to retake some of these little guys. At least the length of war modifiers having plenty of time to tick down now. Actually, last time I checked, uh, this one was just four points away from accepting. Ah, three points away. So, I think probably the time penalty did go down and improve, but maybe some of the other sieging changed. So I was, or I was really expecting to be closer in differential to that, but that's okay. We'll get there. Everyone's busy. Everyone's busy. Lovely. This is the thing. I can't believe the vanilla um, Crusader Kings 3 outliner doesn't include, like, siege status and things like that. They use a mod to showcase it because it's so useful for keeping track of things. Little naval battles. Siege is over here doing okay. I lost the siege of Cremona. Well, that's all right. You aren't actually active. So. Let's have you cover a little bit of this. Occupied, 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 occupied. Everyone's busy, ignoring this piece out. I mean, if they want to siege my forts, it's a pretty hard thing for them to do. Okay, you were manually sent there. Maybe I'll keep sending you to some of these fort locations. Okay, yeah, you managed to escape there, but there's actually not really somewhere safe for this guy to run to. Because there's some troublesome stuff over here, some troublesome stuff over here. Unless I just try to... I'm going to force march you this way. And hopefully we can just skip the trouble that way. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it works out. Maybe it doesn't. You know what? We'll just deal with it when we get there. All right. So you're booting it, which is going to have to be okay. I mean, nice to boot these guys. Could manually move. Maybe I will actually. You force march. Go here. Abandon your carpet siege. That's okay. All right. More sea battles. Got that, lovely. Turn off the force march. Re-enable carpet siege of all this. Thank you. Okay, that was a full fort, right? Yeah, it did take them a while to do it. You are out of targets. So, I mean, there's no fort down there, but what the heck, let's get that cleaned up anyway. Good. Back to being busy. All right. Now 
delay. Some of this might open some movement options too. As I say, you're not currently active. There we go. We can catch some smaller stacks here. Start trimming down some of these numbers. You don't actually have a leader though. And I can't give away one? Why? We occupy this territory. Oh, all these leaders in a hostile territory, so we can't do it. So we could assign one. I could just buy a new one or make my leader into one, but I don't want to. That's a lot of money. Great project upgrade cost. About the state of the monument in Rome. Hold on, that's a good point. Can I? No, we're Catholic, so I can't do that one. Is it anywhere? It is. Is there anything I can do about the Petra? No, we're not the right culture. I don't know if there's any great projects I can upgrade. I mean, we've got the money, but at the same time, we might need the money. So we'll go ahead and say no. It'll generate a little local unrest, but there are worse things. Okay, I don't think you have to force march. I'm just going to do this. I don't think we're speeding along there. It's going to be okay. There's really not anything for you to carpet siege. Maybe what I'll do is I'll send you... Oops. I'll send you over here. And we can look at beating up these guys and cleaning up this area. That sounds like a fairly decent thing. Yeah, that's pretty big. And it's got some reinforcements. I don't think we want to jump on those guys. I'm going to take this fortress here. It's a pretty large one. It'll take a while to siege down, but... We'll appreciate having the territory. So good battle over there. That siege done over here. And right, you're still in carpet siege, so you should go and do something else. Lisboa's done. That's very good for us. Still not willing. Um, one more point, because we're tied right now. Really want to start some of these cores. Although the coalition war will go on for a while, and I don't think we're going to call, call for peace too quickly here. But it would be nice if all the territory from the Tuscan War was done coring before we pieced out on the coalition. Everyone's still busy. Oh, I can take another idea. Yes, please. Plus two Diplo rep. Oh yeah, it was relations. Yeah, we'll take the Diplo rep. Lovely. Seventy-seven. It'll be done by. Not so much Denmark. Can claim hegemony. Who, what? Always get the following benefits. Reduced war exhaustion, better foreign spy detection, mercenary manpower, which you don't care. Over time, power grows. Goods produced, mercenary discipline, autonomy, and more governing capacity, 20%. That's great. How do we... I didn't realize this was a thing here. I haven't really played since this is a thing. Um, if we had 250 heavy ships... And we had the most, we could become this as well. Army equal to 100k. Wait, like an active army of that size? Oh shit. But yeah, let's claim this. Can we claim more than one? Oh no, okay. You only claim one, more than one anyway. Alright, still, may as well do this. Odorint Dun Metuan. I'm a mutant? I'm pretty sure that's a mutant. I'm a super mutant, in fact. Been exposed to that FEV, baby. Right, I've been playing a little bit of Fallout lately, so it's in my head. Mm, lost the Siege of Boer, or Bure. I don't know where this is. Over here. Okay. That's fine. It's not really going to affect us in the war. I mean, really, some sieges are going to go back and forth regardless. The important thing is that we should be easily outpacing the sieges. Although they do have a lot of dudes. Like, what's the total... Warfare. Yeah, 359k troops versus 1.2 million. And yet, I'm mostly feeling... Whoa, the lag! I realized the game wasn't paused, but seriously, that was weird. Maybe it's constantly recalculating the number of troops while that UI is open? Is that possible? Yeah, I guess it might be a real-time display as the days tick over. And, you know, army's getting attrition. Like, all the numbers are changing constantly. So, I guess that kind of makes sense. Idea spread. Go, go, go. Any chance we are now over the line? 
Yay! Can I ask for a few extra bucks? I can, actually. Not that it matters. You know what? Let's just go. Okay. Um, full annexation. Boom. Done. Done, done, done. And begin the core. Excellent. And then we'll wait for our diplomat to come home. There it is. Oh, right. I still want to reoccupy Memogen here, which is right here, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. These guys are grouped up. That's not good. Mountains. We have a big numbers advantage, but it's a little scary. I still can't go in there. All right. I guess we'll siege out Ulm instead. Fairly decent -ish stack size over here. I could beat them here. I don't think that's the case. At least this doesn't have a river crossing. All right, I'm gonna force march and move here. Oh, that's not that's not gonna catch them. Really? It will be a river crossing. Oh, and we don't actually have a military leader. I probably shouldn't make a move there then. I'll tell you what. Come over here. It's a fort. We'll start sieging it, and then we we can group these two together as well. <laughs> More people join the coalition. All right. Um, do I want to move you somewhere so we can engage an army? I think yes. Let's do a little something like this. Pathing is dumb. Attacking into the mountains. We do have a leader. Um, can you stop here? Because I'm going to force march you the rest of the way. In case they reinforce. Especially since we're fighting in the mountains. But no. Looks like we're going to be fine. They're not reinforcing there. Um, I could boop some more. But the other thing that might... What? Oh, you have to automatic transport. No thanks. Um, really? I can't get there? I mean, I know there's Ulm, but I was i was kind of expecting I could get in this way. Alright, force march your way down here anyway. That's going to have to be okay. Can I burn down the walls? Let's do that. Okay, Battle of Burgas, good. Excellent. And they tried to reinforce, but they're not going to get there in time. Oh, you are... You know what? Oh, hang on. They might actually be trying to start something. I'm gonna let these guys lock. There it is. I'm just gonna force march to here. Oh, there you go. We'll do that. We don't have a leader, but that's okay. It's gonna be fine. I could have reinforced with these guys. Um, which would have made this battle go a little bit better with the leader. Well, plus just massive war willing forces. But we are starting the siege. Although it is a pretty shitty um, fort. Actually. We are going to win that one, right? No, I'm not sure. Tell you what, split in half. Force march with the leader and do this. these guys. Good. Horse march and boop them. Alright, Palencia done. Good. Unforce march. Reseed some of this stuff. You are out of things to carpet siege which I'm fine with. So what I'm going to do... Oh! You do that. And you... I'm going to get you to force march up towards Europe. Something like that. And this guy here, um, I think same sort of vibe. We're just going to move you up and see what we can do. Don't want to assault. 
What is this? Impoverished artisans. Local unrest in a province. Goods, da 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 da. Or spend. You know what? I'll spend a meaningless amount of money. Not that I think the local unrest is going to cause an issue for us regardless. But what the hell, right? Well, this just feels like the right thing to do. Oh, um, you two can merge and, yeah, no longer be force marching. Everyone's still busy? Yep. Lovely. One siege of Burgess. Excellent. What I'm going to do is just tell you to... Do this area. Just gonna involve some desieging as well. Unpause. Oh, there's one more that's idle. You over here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything to do here anymore. Well, maybe there's some desieging to do there. Okay, good. Everyone is once again active, which is what we like to see. Um, hold on. Oh, so if there's the Force March, but they're not actually moving, it still has a symbol? Oh, well, that's going to be really annoying. See? Same thing here. You're not actually busy. Oh, shit. That's terrible. Do I want to just move you down here for a half? Oh, shit. These guys are grouped up. They're both... Okay, you're on manual, so I'm going to get you to leave. Yeah, come down over here. Come down over here. We're going to try to close the noose on these guys. You're legitimately moving. You are definitely not moving. Go siege this out. Yeah, siege that. We'll make sure we have freedom of movement, and then we'll do some booping in this area. Okay! I think there's a good place for us to put in a little bit of cut. Still looking forward to re-sieging Memogen here for the peace out. At least uh, this over here is progressing. I mean, I could have I could have forced the... Uh, I could have charged the walls while I had the double army here, but I think that would have... That may not have succeeded and would have cost us even more manpower than I think the siege is. Hard to tell. We do have, like, maximum siege modifiers, right? That is not true. 40 artillery for the maximum. Okay, we may have to make a slight change after all. Okay, maybe you can stay there. We may have to make um, a siege stack size with that, that involves 40 cannons to move forward. Maybe we do want bigger armies. I don't know. Anyway, I gotta put a cut in, so I'm gonna do that now. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.